as somebody that's looking to immigrate to this country of Canada, you have to really consider a few things before you make that leap of uh, <clears throat> faith, essentially, into living in this Western society. Uh, something you definitely have to consider no matter where you want to come uh, from to this country of Canada. So whether it is from the Eastern European countries um, or whether it's from Africa or Asian countries or even part of one of the Commonwealth countries looking to potentially um, just slide on over to Canada, you have to really consider, is this country for you? Uh, and we're talking about 2024, okay? Uh, Canada is not what it used to be back when I came to this country. Uh, I came here as a little boy. I was six and a half years old when I came. Um, you know, I came here from, you know, a war-torn country of Bosnia and Herzegovina. And, um, you know, I, uh, I spent three years of the Bosnian war inside of that civil war, living underneath tents, and uh, just my mom and dad at that time. And then in 1995, we got sponsored to come here as landed immigrants um, through the United Church. Um, and we landed in Calgary, Alberta. That's where we got our landed immigrant status um, under, under sponsorship, of course. And, um, you know, in hindsight, um, you know, it, it's been a long road. It's been very lots of ups and downs as any any country where you, where you go and immigrate uh, but you have to be prepared for that you have to be prepared to handle it mentally um, so when you when you guys come to Canada uh, wherever you come from you can bring your culture with you uh, there's no problem with that um, you know Canada is a free country to express your cultural beliefs uh, beliefs your ethical beliefs and uh, respectively your your um, ethnic also uh, beliefs uh, wh wherever you come from there's no issues with that um, in fact there's Canadians that embrace different cultures and they really do appreciate uh, trying your food and listening to your music whether it's my music in Bo from Bosnia or the Balkan countries like Serbia Croatia respectively Macedonia Montenegro as an example uh, Albania even, but uh, you have to keep in mind that uh, certain things work a certain way here. Um, so for example, when it comes to, um, you know, um, the way you're going to behave in public, uh, that's something you have to consider when you're coming to this country. Uh, you've probably guys heard in the news of certain things happening on beaches in Canada that is unacceptable. Uh, Canada has some beautiful beaches, especially the province of Ontario, uh, surrounded by the Great Lakes. And it is our duty. Um, now I am of Bosnian descent, so for us in our culture, we have to respect nature as if we are one with nature. Nothing to do with religion, um, just culturally speaking, we have to take care of nature. So when when we hear of people doing certain things that are unsanitary or not good on beaches it makes me really question you know why bring such things of that nature to this country okay so certain things need to be left where you think it is normal to do okay this is just a psa this is just me saying you know, proper ways to behave in this country of Canada in that respect. Um, it is a country of law, so there's a lot of rules, regulations, compliance, everything from school to banking to legal to uh, behavior to society to, um, you know, uh, there are certain things that just you have to be aware that if they give you a 10 rules or six rules or 50 rules that you need to follow for whatever it is, you best follow those rules. Otherwise you're going to put yourself in, in a situation where it's, it's not the best uh, in that respect. Um, but yeah, I came here in 1995. I landed in Calgary, Alberta. We left Zagreb, Croatia. It was around 24 degrees Celsius. We landed in Calgary and with the wind chill, um, and this is in hindsight after I did my research and studied and talked to my parents about it too, because I don't remember every single thing 
that I went through, uh, albeit the war was pretty traumatic. So yes, those kind of things I relive, you know, I've probably relived the war about 10 times since I came to Canada, just through dreams and stuff like that. But, uh, uh, you know, certain things I, I wasn't aware of, for example, I didn't know that um, the church that had sponsored us paid for a surgery that I needed uh, when I was a kid. And then my parents had to pay every single cent of that back um, to the church. I didn't know that uh, even the tickets that were paid for, we also had to pay those back to the church. So there's certain things I didn't know I, I had to ask, right? It's not something as a kid you understand or, or realize. But it was difficult, especially arriving in Canada in the midst of winter. Um, you know, no cultural friends, no religious friends that we knew uh, that were of our religion. Um, you know, having to assimilate super quick. I remember being in school. I didn't know how to ask to go to the bathroom, the washroom, whatever you want to call it. I didn't know, um, you know, anything. I, you know, kids made fun of you because you, you didn't speak the language. It took me about six weeks or six months, excuse me, to learn the English language and get comfortable with knowing, you know, how I'm going to, or what I'm supposed to say or how I'm supposed to behave in that, in that respect. Um, Eventually, we moved, uh, I graduated from high school up in Alberta, and we moved down to uh, Ontario, and, um, you know, in 2007, and I went to the, you know, university here, and, you know, then eventually opened my, up my own business, and that's something that I hope you immigrants that come here consider doing. You know, there's a lot of hardworking people that come here. Don't get me wrong, not every immigrant is um, bad right um i'm here right uh i did i didn't come here because my parents were bad or uh, you know everything is bad it's we came here because we heard can canada was a really good country and was one of the top ranked countries back then in the world to consider so hopefully you as immigrants uh, decide to open up one of your own businesses whatever that ends up being um uh, if you guys want you can reach out to me on in comments in this video and I can give you some tips, advice, insights as to what kind of businesses are, are trending and uh, good to get into here in Canada and if you can make a, a living from it. But just know and understand that coming here is not just a free-for-all. Coming here you have to put in the effort. Nobody's going to put the effort in for you. You have to have resilience, you have to have adversity, you have to understand that you will miss your family, whether you come from Asian countries or, or European countries, you're gonna miss uh, a lot of things, especially the social life. Uh, lots of people don't realize that. The social life here is different. Uh, you have to actually schedule social life. You have to write down in a calendar when you're gonna meet somebody or have, have a celebration together you know it's not like back home where somebody calls you and says hey let's go for coffee let's go for tea let's let's go for dinner let's uh, or come over come over or you just show up at somebody's house and they you know with open arms accept you it's not like that here it's very scheduled uh, it's very strict by schedule people don't like if you're late people don't like if you're early you have to really take that into consideration that is something you have to assimilate to, even though it's very difficult. Um, it's something I've struggled with. I'm, I'm going on 29 years now. In November, it will be 29 years in Canada, and I still haven't gotten over that. That's something that's very difficult for me, is the fact that, that my social life isn't where I'd want it to be. And my wife and I talk about this. We have four beautiful children, and we, we talk about this all the time, how you know, really have to consider where where we should raise our children because I would really want them to be social beings and really, really embrace life for what life is. Um, and uh, it's difficult. You're going to have lonely nights. You're going to there's going to be loneliness. There's a reason why in the Western world there's a lot of depression and sadness is because the social life is not how it is in the the global south as as they call us right that uh, you know i remember coming here one of the first questions they asked me was 
did we have electricity in Bosnia? It's, you know, it's, uh, there are certain things that are difficult to get used to, um, but there's a lot of good people too. There's a lot of people that can help you achieve your goals. Um, you, you will run into them. Don't get me wrong. You will run into it, but you, you have to give yourself time also and, and effort to assimilate to this country for what it really is because it's, it's not like back home. It, it doesn't matter if it's not from, if you're from my country or surrounding countries or you know Asia or Africa where it's different cultures and different languages and all that kind of stuff. You still have to really put in a valid and valiant heroic effort into becoming a Canadian uh, for what it truly is. In 2024, however, Canada is a different country. Canada is a very, 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 very different country from what it was in 1995. So things like uh, prices of or affordability or living expenses uh, have really skyrocketed while, while the quality of life has diminished because of this. So you're going to spend a lot more of your earnings, whatever job you end up doing, whether it's... Um, a manufacturing labor job or it's a administrative job or whatever the doctors legal the business that i'm in which is logistics a lot of your money that you make you'll spend on living expenses now right so please keep that in mind yesterday i went to there's a there's a store here a, a, a larger gro grocery and food chain and uh you know, I spent $97. I bought one formula uh, cylinder for my one of my babies. I bought three packages of beef sausages. I bought a package of six uh, multicolored bell peppers, uh, vegetables. And I bought uh, four Oreo cupcakes and a little box of Oreo cookies. And all that was, uh, or just that, excuse me, was $97. So consider that's one grocery bill, right? What about electricity? What about um, water? What about uh, gas? Because you're going to need that for heating in Canada, especially in the winter months. Uh, what about your internet and your connectivity, right? Uh, what about uh, your rent for wherever you end up staying? Or mortgage, for example, I, I own my house. Um, or have a mortgage on the house. So it's something you have. You have to have that money every month there's no excuse so consider these things consider everything do your research really put in an effort to do your research and consider is this a country that you want to move into uh, before you take that leap of faith also of course yes the system itself politically speaking is not good right now um, you know we've really been damaged as a country because of it and i don't know what the solution is because uh, the politicians are in it for themselves. They're not in it for the people. The people are supposed to govern a democracy, whereas we, we are not governing a democracy right now. We, we are in chains right now, just trying to get through this really, really long lull in the economy uh, or depression in the economy. And, you know, this is a realistic video that I wanted to share with you guys. And it's unfortunate that it is this way, but Canada is not what it used to be. So keep that in mind if you guys decide to come to Canada. Uh, please give this video a share, a like, and a comment. Or just if you have any questions for me about Canada, whatever it may be, put it down in the comments and um, I'll get to it as soon as I humanly can. So much love, respect to the universe, to the world. And uh, wherever you are, I hope you are happy and content and joyful and um for those of you that are in Canada watching this video, if you feel different from the way I feel about the current situation, please share with the public as well in the comments. That's completely fine and acceptable. That's We're here to have a discussion. You know, this is not a be all end all type of video. All right. So thank you very much for